Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I want to talk about a statement I often hear whenever I'm talking about low temperature heating. It goes something like this. If you keep your heating on all day you'll use loads more gas. Whilst it's true to say that low temperature heating usually involves your boiler running for much longer periods of time, it's an assumption to say that it will use more gas. On the face of it, that sounds like a reasonably sound assumption, but as the bad guy in Under Siege 2 says, assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. I published a video on my use of low temperature heating back in October, and if you check that out, you'll see that I've been really pleased with the results so far. But if that assumption is correct, then I've been wasting money by running my boiler's flow temperature at 40. If that assumption is correct, I would actually burn less gas by whacking my boiler up to 70 degrees. I decided to put that assumption to the test. Instead of running my boiler at the usual low flow temperature, I would crank it up to 70 for a day or two and then compare the gas usage. All I needed was a period where the outdoor temperature would be pretty consistent. Thankfully, the UK weather obliged. With snow on the ground in mid-November and a cold snap forecast for a couple of days, the conditions were perfect to conduct my test. I would use my normal flow temperature for a couple of days at the beginning of the cold snap before switching to the higher flow temperature for the last couple of days of the cold snap. Aside from using different flow temperatures, the only other difference in the test would be the control strategy. With my low flow temperature heating, the boiler simply switches on at 5 a.m. and switches off at around 11 p.m. and the flow temperature is low that it just keeps my house at a nice consistent temperature. With the high temperature set up, I would have to introduce a thermostat simply to stop the house from overheating because nobody wants that. Now, rather than going through all the details and making a really long and probably very boring video, I'm just going to concentrate on the comparison of the final results. I have written a nice long post that's up on my blog and that contains all the details. So if you do want to dive into that, I'll include a link in the description. So this is the week in question. The purple line represents the outdoor temperature. The blue line represents the average internal temperature. And the orange line represents the flow temperature as captured by my heat meter. As with all weather related experiments, making very direct comparisons is difficult due to the ever changing indoor and outdoor temperatures. It also doesn't help that my outdoor temperature sensor was being impacted by extractor fan exhausts and solar gain and stuff that I wasn't even aware of until I was looking at it in much more detail. I've written a post about that issue on my blog and I'll link to that in the description. I've also pulled in the gas usage graphs from Octopus Energy's website and it looks like this. So I've got one graph for the six days across the week in question. So this is the Monday at my usual low flow temperature and you can see that aside from a little peak in the morning the run is long and really low using about three is that about 3, 3.2 kilowatt hours of gas every 30 minutes. If we contrast that to the Friday, which is the first day I ran the 70 degree flow, you can see that in the first three hours, the boiler actually consumed 58 kilowatt hours of gas using at its peak about 10 kilowatt hours every 30 minutes. The difference, as you can see, is quite staggering. Now, in my blog post, what I did was compare the days based on the amount of gas consumed. So for this video, I thought it might be useful to actually compare two of the days where the outdoor temperature was relatively similar. 
if we hop back to the temperature chart we can see here that if we compare the Tuesday and the Friday these have the closest in terms of temperature with the Friday being a little bit warmer during the day. Tuesday's graph shows a spike here in the flow temperature in the morning and that was just due to my mixergy tank needing to use my boiler instead of its immersion to heat the hot water and that was just due to some tinkering I was I had done on the Monday. The heating then itself didn't actually turn on properly until I think at about seven at which case I then had to raise the flow temperature up to 55 just to try to get the house up to temperature to avoid any complaints from my wife and kids. So you can see the hot water burn was around here and then you can see the increase in the flow temperature to 55. I did eventually drop that back down and you can see that the the run eventually settled down. Around midday I pushed the flow temperature back up a little bit just to see what would happen and you can see that little rise there before I dropped it back down in the evening. Given the little bit of hot water run and the twiddling with the flow temperatures I'm going to actually lower the overall consumption figure just to try to account for the hot water run itself. I'll be dropping about 13 kilowatt hours of consumption off the total so that will bring Tuesday the 19th down to about 125 kilowatt hours of gas consumed for the whole day just for space heating. If we then look at Friday which is here you'll see there's a very very different picture so we'll see that obviously the flow temperature is much much higher it actually reaches up here to 70 I think uh, in the middle of the day but you can see it's much more erratic as the boiler is burning and turning off and burning and turning off under instruction from the thermostat. We've already seen that there is a colossal burn by the boiler first thing in the morning and that will be down to the fact that it's trying to pull all the water in my heating system from about 15 degrees all the way up to 70. So it's got a 55 degree delta that it has to try to address. If we compare that to one of the low temperature days, for example, looking at the Wednesday, we'll see that again, the starting temperature of the water is about the same. That's about 13.3. The boiler just simply doesn't have to work as hard to bring the water up to 40 degrees and as a result the gas usage is a lot less. Friday ended with a staggering 150 kilowatt hours of consumption which is about 20% more than the Tuesday. It was actually warmer on the Friday and yet the boiler burned a lot more gas. The verdict is pretty obvious. In spite of the fact that the outdoor temperature was colder, the long low runs of the boiler burned less gas than the short sharp burns at the higher flow temperature. Add to that the fact that we are much more comfortable in the house when the heating is on. Low temperature heating is the clear winner for me. But before I walk off into the sunset, having disproven that assumption, there's one caveat that I would like to add. For the high temperature test, I used a very basic software thermostat in Home Assistant. Now, I'm not 100% convinced of this, but my feeling is that if I was using a much better, read, more expensive thermostat, that had more granular control of my boiler. I feel like the consumption would have been less, but I have to be convinced of that. I think that's an experiment for another day. Right, that's quite enough from me. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button as that will help the YouTube algorithm uh, promote my video to a wider audience. 
If you enjoy these sorts of videos about heating and smart home technology, please do consider subscribing. Otherwise, that's it. I'm Tom, and thanks for watching.